Have you ever found yourself wondering how to confidently approach a girl in public? If you're looking to overcome that anxiety and make a genuine connection, you're in the right place. Today, we'll break down seven key tips that show you exactly how to approach any girl in public. It's not just about having the right pickup line. It's about creating a comfortable and positive interaction. Number one, approach from a comfortable angle. The way you approach a girl in public can set the entire tone for the interaction, so it's crucial to get this right. When you spot someone you'd like to talk to, it's important to consider the angle and distance from which you approach her. Rather than coming up from behind or directly in front of her, which can be startling or feel intrusive, aim to approach from the side. This angle allows her to see you coming, making the encounter feel more natural and less forced. Approaching from the side is also less confrontational. It gives her a sense of control and comfort because she can assess the situation without feeling pressured. Imagine how you would feel if someone suddenly appeared in your personal space. Likely, you'd be on guard. By giving her space and approaching in a way that respects her comfort, you're already showing that you're considerate and aware of her boundaries, which is key in making a positive first impression. This approach also sets the stage for a more fluid conversation, as she doesn't feel ambushed or overwhelmed. It's a subtle but powerful technique that can make her feel at ease right from the start, increasing the likelihood of a successful interaction. Number two, positive body language. Your body language speaks volumes before you even utter a word. When approaching a girl in public, positive body language is your silent communicator, conveying confidence, openness, and respect. It's not just about standing up straight or making eye contact, though those are important. It's about the overall vibe you project. From the way you walk to how you position your hands, everything contributes to how approachable and trustworthy you appear. Start by maintaining a relaxed posture. Avoid crossing your arms, which can come off as defensive, and instead, keep your hands visible, perhaps loosely at your sides. This openness signals that you're confident and have nothing to hide. Your walk should be purposeful but not rushed. Move at a pace that shows you're in control, but not in a hurry. Eye contact is another crucial element. Make sure to establish it early, but in a way that feels natural, not intense or overbearing. Paired with a genuine smile, eye contact can make you seem more personable and less like a stranger. Positive body language creates an inviting atmosphere that can put her at ease, making her more likely to engage with you in conversation. It shows that you're confident in yourself and respectful of her space, which are attractive qualities in any interaction. Number three, start with a genuine compliment. When approaching a girl in public, the first words you say can make or break the interaction. That's why starting with a genuine compliment is one of the most effective ways to get the conversation off to a positive start. The key here is sincerity. Your compliment should feel natural and specific to her, rather than something generic that she's likely heard countless times before. For instance, instead of saying something vague like, you're pretty, try something more specific and relevant to the moment, such as, hey, I couldn't help but notice your smile from across the room. It really brightened up my day. This type of compliment shows that you've noticed something unique about her and that you're genuinely interested in her as a person, not just in her appearance. It's about making her feel seen and appreciated in a way that's authentic and not over the top. A sincere compliment can also serve as an icebreaker, easing any initial tension and making her more open to continuing the conversation. It's a subtle way of showing that you're confident enough to express your thoughts directly, yet thoughtful enough to recognize and appreciate the little things. This approach not only makes her feel good, but also sets a positive tone for the rest of your interaction. Number four, use a confident yet relaxed tone. The tone of your voice plays a crucial role in how your approach is received. When you speak to a girl you're approaching in public, it's essential to strike the right balance between confidence and relaxation. Speaking too loudly or forcefully might come across as aggressive or overwhelming, while speaking too softly can make you seem unsure of yourself. The sweet spot lies in a tone that's clear, confident, and calm. This shows that you're comfortable in your own skin and genuinely interested in the conversation. When you approach, start with a simple, hey, how's it going? Or, excuse me, I just had to say hi. 
Use a tone that's neither rushed nor dragging. It should be natural and easygoing. Your goal is to sound like you're having a casual, friendly chat, not like you're delivering a rehearsed speech. This relaxed confidence not only helps you appear more approachable, but also puts her at ease, making the conversation feel more organic. A confident yet relaxed tone also signals that you're someone who is used to social interactions and isn't afraid to engage with others. It shows that you're respectful and considerate, qualities that are likely to make her more interested in continuing the conversation. Ultimately, how you say something can be just as important as what you say, and mastering this balance will make your approach much more successful. Number five, smile early and often. One of the most effective, yet often overlooked tools in your approach arsenal is a genuine smile. Smiling might seem like a small gesture, but it can have a significant impact on how you're perceived. When you smile, you're not just showing your teeth, you're communicating warmth, friendliness, and confidence. A smile signals to the girl that you're approachable and that you have a positive attitude, both of which can make her more open to engaging with you. Start smiling before you even reach her. This way, when she first notices you, the initial impression is one of positivity. It's important that your smile feels natural and not forced. People can easily tell the difference. A genuine smile is contagious. It can make the other person feel good and more inclined to smile back, creating an instant connection between the two of you. Smiling also helps to ease any tension or nervousness you might be feeling. It can make you appear more relaxed and in control, which is attractive. Plus, a smile can make your overall appearance more appealing, highlighting your facial features and making you stand out in a crowd. So, as you approach, remember to smile early and often. It's a simple yet powerful way to set a positive tone for the conversation and make a lasting impression. Number six, engage her with a casual question. After you've smiled and made your approach, one of the best ways to start a conversation is by asking a casual, open-ended question. This technique is effective because it invites her to participate in the conversation without feeling pressured or overwhelmed. A well-chosen question can also shift the focus away from the fact that you're approaching her and onto a neutral topic, making the interaction feel more spontaneous and less calculated. For example, you could start with something as simple as, hey, do you know a good place around here to grab a coffee? Or, I'm new around here, do you have any recommendations for places to check out? These questions are light and non-invasive, giving her the opportunity to share her thoughts and opinions. They also open the door for a more extended conversation, as you can naturally follow up based on her response. Asking a casual question shows that you're interested in more than just her appearance. You're genuinely curious about her perspective. It's a great way to create a connection without putting too much pressure on the interaction. Plus, it allows the conversation to flow more naturally, making both of you feel more at ease. By engaging her with a question, you're setting the stage for a relaxed and enjoyable conversation, which increases the chances of a positive outcome. Number seven, respect her response. No matter how well you've prepared your approach, it's crucial to respect the girl's response, whatever it may be. Approaching someone in public requires a level of vulnerability, and not every interaction will result in a positive outcome, and that's okay. What truly matters is how you handle her response, especially if it's not the one you were hoping for. If she seems uninterested, distracted, or simply not in the mood to talk, it's important to take that cue and gracefully bow out of the conversation. You might say something like, no worries, have a great day, and then move on. This shows that you're mature, confident, and respectful of her boundaries, traits that are highly attractive in any person. By not pushing the conversation further, you demonstrate that you value her comfort and autonomy over your own desire to engage, which is something she's likely to appreciate. On the flip side, if she responds positively and engages with you, continue the conversation with the same level of respect and attentiveness. Listen actively, show genuine interest in what she has to say and keep the dialogue flowing naturally. Ultimately, respecting her response, whether it's enthusiastic or reserved, is about showing that you understand and value her feelings. It's this respect that leaves a lasting impression, regardless of the outcome of the interaction. Remember, the goal isn't just to strike up a conversation, but to leave a positive impact, no matter how brief the encounter. So, who do you want to be? Someone who confidently approaches opportunities and respects others' boundaries, building genuine connections along the way. 
With that said, thanks for watching.